we're gonna pack. I understand that packing can sometimes be very daunting for some people or like it's not really something you look forward to however I don't really mind it I typically can pack in about an hour and a half this is why I always leave it until like the night before I go away so I'm literally leaving the house in a couple of hours to go to the airport and my flight is in the morning now I don't have like a designated place where I pack and another thing people that put their suitcases on their beds I think that's really gross I doesn't matter where I am, hotels, my house, friend's house, family's house, I would never ever put my suitcase on my bed because that suitcase has been all over. It's been rolled around on the streets, it's been in the tunnels of the airports and in the underbelly of the plane. I always pack with my suitcase on the floor. Now, wherever I have enough space for the suitcase is where I'm going to pack. So tonight we're packing down here because I've already got one suitcase downstairs and I don't fancy taking it upstairs just to bring it down again. Like I'm only one person and in the morning I don't fancy having to lug a suitcase all the way downstairs. If I can only lug one, so be it. So my second suitcase is upstairs and my first one is down here. So I'm gonna create some space here where I can lay it on the floor and I can show you guys exactly the method to my madness when I pack, okay? So this is my suitcase from near luggage. It's a large case. It is also expandable and the reason why it looks like it's heavy is because it is heavy. I've already got things in here from um, my Ghana trip actually. So because I travel often, things that I don't wear and things that don't need to be put in the wash for example, I tend to just like leave them in the suitcase for my next trip, especially if my next trip is soon. I tend to leave a lot of things in a suitcase. Another thing I tend to leave in my suitcase is my um, toilet bag. So in my toiletry bag, I have duplicates of everything that I need and I use. So my travel set stays in my toilet bag, which always stays in my suitcase, always. I top up whenever I need to. I purchase things just to make sure <clears throat> if I'm running low, I have everything I need. So that is currently in here. This suitcase is going to be for my clothes and my toilet bag and any other bits that might like that I can throw in here to be honest and then my second suitcase is going to be for my shoes bags accessories and hats usually I fly with British Airways therefore I have an allowance of three 32 kg bags wherever I fly to because I'm an executive gold member and therefore you have a lot more like perks when you are a gold member the different tiers have different perks one of them with gold is that you get luggage at your disposal. So usually if I'm going away for quite a while, like this trip, I'm going to take two suitcases. That's exactly what we're doing today. So this is gonna be the first one I'm packing. And what I need to do is go and get some of the clothes that I have put in the second suitcase. So these are some of the clothes I've set aside to pack. So we're gonna take these down. This pile of clothes is because they all need to go inside my packing cube. So this is one packing cube that has all my swimwear in it. And I've got more swimwear that needs to go in there. This is another packing cube that has beach wear. So like sarongs, kimonos, things like that. This is a packing cube that has dresses, day dresses, evening dresses. I just know that dresses are in here. This is another packing cube that has Holds. so anything that has any matching sets are in here this is for shorts and skirts and I've got another bag downstairs for tops so let's get packing dresses are all going in here this I don't think I'm going to take Got things that I've worn in Ghana that I've washed and put back in here. Some dresses that I want to take. Yep. Just making sure everything that's in here I actually want to take it. Yep, everything but this. Don't worry guys, it is going to fit. Let's just test this zipper. Did it. <laughs> Dirt, shorts, and things of that nature. 
So I've got a couple pairs of denim shorts in here. I've got a pair of casual shorts in here. I've got a nice frilly skirt there. Some nice pom pom shorts here. <laughs> Put these in here like this. Skirt, but I want to protect it so I'm gonna put it right on the top these are all done for my bottoms now this one tends to be a little bit difficult because I have so many different style tops that I always want to try and take with me plain white vest you can never have too many of so I have several staples of plain white vest, I've got boob tube style, cropped shirt style that will go cute with a skirt, some colour corsets and I've got crop tops and all that kind of stuff. You can never have too many like white tops. Sometimes you just want to throw on a cute top with a pair of denim shorts or something. I have some urban outfitters and I like them a lot. I have them in several colours. I've got them in green. And they do have a little bit of a like cleavage situation. This top I think is so freaking cute. Uh, I've got a skirt that's gonna go perfectly with it. A very loose white vest. Something like this I'd probably wear for like breakfast. I find that I don't have any fancy tops when I go away. I need more fancy tops. And a really gorgeous gold corset from Hatta ZB. So cute, I have a skirt that's gonna go really nicely with that. But I think I'm gonna have to pack this separately because it's so rigid, it's not gonna fit in this packing cube okay what I've actually now decided to do is to put dressy tops in one bag one packing cube and casual tops in another packing cube because I think it is full now that I've packed the cubes I've got things on the side here that I took out of this suitcase that are going to go back in the suitcase but first we need to jigsaw all of these bits. Bikinis, cords, items that would go with bikinis, dresses, casual tops, dressy tops. This is what it's looking like at the moment. So this suitcase has two compartments, one side that you zip and one side that's kind of exposed that is held together using these fasteners on either side and it clips together in the middle. That's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm just gonna try and jigsaw these around so that they can all go in well. It's all looking and feeling very crazy, but there's always a method to my insanity. Using packing cubes just means when I get to my destination and I'm unpacking, I just know where everything is. Take them out, unpack. When I'm packing back up, do the reverse. So what I'm gonna squeeze in here now is jewelry. Got this like space here and I'm just gonna put, so so far I've got here my bonnet. Another thing I have that for me is like one of the best travel hacks ever is this bad boy that I got from Amazon. Got this from Amazon and this is basically an extension, oh, it's an extension lead. It is a UK plug, but wherever I go, all I need to do is use an adapter and I basically have three universal power sockets as well as six USB power sockets. It's handy because I don't need to have multiple different adapters. I can just have the one adapter and just use this. And it's like, it's a good size. It's pretty slim. It's probably the size of like a mini iPad. This for me goes everywhere. I do have some jewelry in here, which I'm gonna leave there. I've got socks I think in here. This is the clothes suitcase. I'm gonna put perfume i'm just gonna tuck them in because they'll be quite protected so this is one of my favorite perfumes and as you can imagine when you're packing your favorite items you don't want them to break or get damaged so i'm gonna slot this into right there so it's nice and cushioned one is done you move on to suitcase number two I'm not zipping it up because I suspect I'm going to have to open that again. <laughs> My second suitcase is coming together. I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. It's still a bit crazy, but you guys trust the process. It's all going to work out. So I like taking my straw hats, but how do I pack these straw hats so that they can retain their shape? This is quite a wide brim straw hat. And here I stuffed it with some um, scarves and another hat just so this doesn't like bend out of shape too, too much. And then what I like to do is 
flatten the brim with things that have like structural shape so like this for example this is my makeup bag and i got this makeup case from huda beauty they sent a pr package and i was like let me condense my makeup because my other makeup bag was just too much it wasn't making any sense so i condensed every single product that i actually use every single time i do my makeup i condense it into this and then here are brushes a few more lashes and lip gloss i haven't had time to wash my brushes so um this these two in particular are literally gonna have to just stay in there like that is what it is boy maybe i'll wash it when i get there maybe i won't this is my straw bag it's a very big straw bag so what i've done is place this to also secure the brim of the hat i didn't want to use the bottom part because i feel like it could squash the hat a little bit and also these are the wheels of the suitcase so this is the bottom of the suitcase so therefore the weight of this bag won't be crushing on the hat hence why it's up at the top and this is another straw hat that i have actually but this one is in the box so this one essentially will kind of be protected on its own so i've put that flat on this side and then what i like to do is just pack around them just so everything is kind of like secure and the brim is free from any pressure or anything that could put, like potentially squash squash and bend it out of shape all my shoes go into dust bags just to make sure that like there's no dirt that's being flung around the suitcase especially if they're worn i like to just kind of place those around the suitcase when i've got spaces like this i like to put things that have a little bit more structure just so it can kind of hold everything in together these are like my slippers that i wear around the villa i don't like to be barefoot even in my own house i don't feel comfortable like being barefoot so i always have like slippers that i just put in any random bag that i can yeah just walk around the villa walk around the resort if i don't want to wear any fancy shoes or anything like that they're just like my throwaway sandals next up i have this that i've shown you guys before it's actually sunscreen an insect repellent and I've just put my sunscreen from Sunbum in there you guys can see that and then mosquito repellent um this is actually like I think it's bop insect repellent because sometimes mosquitoes in St. Lucia be really really real especially when we went for carnival last year oh my god the, mo the mozzies were out I try as much as possible to make this flat whatever's going on here as flat as possible oh, you guys can see there is still like a gap here i'm gonna chuck that in there like that. that's nice and soft so it doesn't really need protecting so i'm done with the second suitcase but at the minute i haven't closed it and i'm gonna close it and weigh it with my very handy scale so i got this scale from amazon it's such a great scale i promise you you clip this onto your suitcase and onto here and you lift your suitcase and then the gauge will tell you what the suitcase weighs fits in your handbag fits in your hand luggage it's honestly the best thing and i take it on every single trip i use it every time batteries are um not rechargeable you have to change them but if you don't use it often it's not really any issue to be fair this suitcase tends to be the lighter one because it's got like shoes and i think because shoes are just more like bulky so it tends to take up more space rather than actual weight toilet bag all sorted this i threw in here last minute this is like a really gorgeous bronzer um from sol de janeiro oh my god it's so stunning and it smells amazing i've got all my hair bits in there so hair clips for my braids i've got setting spray for my edges as well as gel oil for my scalp shoes bags jewelry is also in here but these are like big chunky bits of jewelry but my other bits of jewelry like my finer jewelry are in this pandora jewelry box there my suitcase downstairs with all the clothes in it was 33 so i took this out and that's another thing about having these packing cubes you can't you, like you don't need to go into the cubes to um alleviate any excess weight you just take a cube out i'm gonna close this up and i'm confident that this suitcase is probably gonna be about 29. it does not feel heavy at all oh goodness this is great i love this for me <laughs> there we go <laughs> this 
this is the scale I was telling you about. So essentially you hook it onto the handle of your suitcase, turn it on, and once it hits all the zeros, you pick your metric, so I do kg, you just lift. It's 35. Oh, I know what we're talking about. This bag with a big old chain does not need to come with. That is weight. Look at this chain. Oh, hell no. Yep. Between 31 and 32. We have packed fully. My hand luggage is usually quite crazy. Yeah. But again, it's my madness, my method. I get it. So here I've got my sunglasses down at the bottom. I've got my Polaroid camera, some extra film for the Polaroid camera, my Canon R50. And then I have here like my supplements, like um, emergency, my green drink, and some teas in case I feel bloated. Because I do tend to eat a lot when I'm in St. Lucia. In this section here, I've got tampons and any kind of medication in here. I've got here wires and my camera battery charger. Fans. Under there, I've got my 360 camera. That one is kind of like a chuckabout one. It's very durable, so it's okay in there. I've got some more painkillers. Well, say more, but I've got Tylenol painkillers. I've got camera lens here, I've got my tripod, and I've got a few glasses, like stray glasses here. I'm going to put this in my handbag, this is a topicals eye mask, and my speaker. And that's basically it. I've got these wipes as well, these are really good, uh, they're great on white clothes. If you ever stain yourself, these are fantastic, you whip these out immediately before the stain settles into the fabric, and this will have it gone in seconds, I promise you. I tend to chuck things in my hand luggage and I'm not really fussed about it. I mean, I obviously make sure I don't put things in next to um, other things that could like damage or anything like that. So that being said, I am going to move this camera lens over to this side. I'm now gonna have to put my laptop like on top. I don't really like doing that, especially because I don't have a sleeve for my laptop, but I think it will be fine anyway. So it's just gonna sit like right on top here. And that locks in there like that and just gonna and there we have hand luggage done i'm all done let me show you what time it is <laughs> i do this every single time i travel it's 1 a.m safe to say i think it's time to go to bed i'm sorry for the lack of energy but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know it was like a little bit chaotic i feel like it's a bit chaotic because my packing style is quite chaotic i'm gonna link everything that i've shared with you guys in the description box so that's the packing cubes that's the scale, anything else that I may have missed out. And of course, I'm gonna link the luggage as well in the description box so you guys can see. Um, you can check them out as well um, on the website. But if there's anything else that you guys wanna know or you wanna see or you want links for, just let me know in the comment section below. And maybe in the future, I'll try and do a more like cohesive one. But let me keep it real with you guys. This is exactly how I pack. Like you've watched me pack my suitcase. This is how my suitcase is gonna go with me. This was fun, thank you so much. It's good to be back. I will see you guys in the next one, which is most likely going to be St. Lucia vlog. It's gonna be coming out very soon, so make sure you subscribe, keep your eyes peeled on my channel so you guys can see what I get up to on, these, on this trip. And you can see how I styled some of the outfits that I may have shown you guys um, very briefly or some of the pieces that you may have been able to catch. I'll speak to you guys really soon, bye.